Are you interested in knowing where house prices are going? Stick around. I got some great information to share with you. Good afternoon. It's Mark here. Hope you're doing well. And as I promised, I'm going to show you where the market is going. So you'll have an idea of what it looks like right now in our current marketplace. As you guys know, I do this on a monthly basis. This is April's data. It's actually the end of March on the computer, but it's April's data. And I wanted you to see this so that you can see exactly what I see and what the economists are saying to get kind of an idea of where we're heading. As we owe, as always, we start off with sales price. So the average sales price um, back in March of 2021 was 341. And then you can see at the end of March right now, it's 384. So prices are still going up. The median sales price for March of 2021, as you can see right here, is 300,000. Remember, this is out of our Central Virginia multiple listing service and it's single family homes and condos. So I don't have land or anything in that skewed in this uh, information. 300,000 for March of last year, come to March of this year, it's 342. So um, that's almost a 13% increase over this time last year. So according to this data, the sales price is still going up, but I got some cool stuff I wanna share with you. So really hang in there. Um, I also wanted to show you new listings, how many new listings have come on the market. And you can see in 2021, back in March, we had 2626 new homes, uh, new sales uh, coming on the market, a new listings coming to market. Jump on over to March of 2022, we got 2445. That's actually a decrease of about 7%. But check this out. I wanted to see this from the month before, from February to uh, March. It's a huge increase that tells us that more properties are actually coming to the market it means that the log jam that we're in right now, where the sellers, especially if they need to sell, are having a hard time finding a house, they started to ease up a little bit. And two things are causing that inflation and they raise the interest rates. Right now, the interest rates are at around 5.1%. I mean, that's gone up almost two full percent in the last probably like 30 to 45 days. And what's happening is it's actually pricing people out of the market, meaning that because the interest rate went up, and, 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 and inflation as well, it's actually pricing some people out of the market, which are allowing those homes to be available to other buyers, which really what I'm seeing, there's sellers trying to sell their house and not having enough properties to shop from, and it's starting to loosen up a little bit, but the data still shows that the prices are still going up. And I also wanted to show you an, another um, a statistic on closed sales. So you come over here to closed sales, once again, March of last year, we had 2024 closed properties. You jump on over to now we had 1897. The reason why there's less properties to close is because there was less listings that came on the market. You saw that data. And here's another cool statistic. And I'd love to show that, share this with you each and every week is the list price to sales price ratio. In other words, what was it listed at and what did it sell for? And if you come over here, to um, last year, which was March of last year, um, you can see it was about a hundred, it looks like 101%. You jump on over to this year, we're up to 102, almost 103%. So that tells us that they're still selling houses above asking price, it's still happening. Now I wanted to show you something I haven't showed you before, and I wanted to show you a national statistic on what sales prices have done since like the 1990s. So you can get kind of an idea of why this is a, is a different kind of a market. So let me just share this with you. So this is, this is the historic median home value. And this graph starts in 1998 and it goes all the way to 2022. And this is what I wanted to share with you. If you see how in 98, it just goes on a trajectory where it's going up. You see those little dips and that's real, common for, for prices to go up and then they settle off, go up, they settle off and go up and they settle off. That's, that's more of a healthy economy. And you see where it spikes here in 2007. We all know what happened in 2008, the financial crisis and it dropped out. And quite frankly, the reason why this was so high was because it was inflated. And if you remember, it was because they were giving mortgages to people that didn't even qualify. So anybody could get a mortgage back then. And what happened was, and you can see this precipitous dip in 2008, from 2007 to 10, that's the financial crisis. It was actually showing up in eight, but the, the big crisis was actually in eight 
um, when it actually crashed. So here's what I wanted to share with you. When it started to come back and right here, this is 2000, the end of 2011, 2012, the market started to come back. And this is what it typically looks like. It goes up and levels off, up and levels off, up and levels off. And then you come over here to 2000. This is like right here. This is 2020. And what happened in 2020? What happened in the beginning of 2020? We all know COVID hit. The government stepped in. They lowered the interest rate. And you can see this just taken straight up. But this is not normal. If you look at this over here, it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. And then over here, it goes straight up. And that's because they're trying to stimulate the economy. Well, guess what? It worked. The bottom line is, is that it has to have some sort of an adjustment. Now, we were being told that it was going to happen in February of 2020, and then the world shut down in March. And so it didn't have that normal adjustment like you see right here. Now, I'm not an expert um, in where the where it's going. I'm not an expert, but I am good at looking at where we've been. And history tells us and leaves clues and we have to look at that. So I'm saying to you, based on what I read right here, we're looking at some sort of an adjustment coming. And I believe it's gonna be it's just like this, it's gonna be a slight adjustment. I don't think it's gonna go down. And the reason I don't think it's gonna go crazy down is because what we experienced back in 2007 through 2010 was a financial crisis. We're not seeing there's a lot of cash in the marketplace, but I do believe we're gonna have some sort of adjustment. I believe it's gonna level off a little bit. And once they figure out how to adjust this inflation, that's what we're going to see. So if you're a seller right now, I don't know how long this is going to last. You guys are looking, I mean, this is historic information that we're looking at right here. I would imagine that we're going to see some sort of an adjustment. So if you're even considering thinking about selling your home, this might be a good time to have me come out, take a look at your property and give you an idea of what's really going on in the marketplace. Once again, we don't know when it's going to start going the other direction, but there is an assumption that it's going to change. Is it going to show up you know, in this quarter? Is it going to show up in the second or third quarter? We don't really know. What I would say is it's, it's going to happen. We're heading that direction if history teaches us anything. And I would say, based on this data, the highest price you can get for your house is probably going to be in the next couple months. So once again, raise your hand if you have uh, any questions about uh, your house. If you want some more information about what's going on in your neighborhood, by all means, let me know. I'd be happy to give you some free information. Once again, thank you so much. Have a fantastic rest of the day. Take care. Bye-bye.